So this was something that was in beta mode and it's now been opened up to everybody. So you can see on my screen, I am going to podcast.adobe.com. Walking through, I've done over 300 episodes of a different podcast. I've worked with students on a podcast. And for me, uh, this new release of the Adobe podcast is the easiest kind of entry point for podcasts. It also has text editing, which will edit the audio, will jump into everything. So you'll have a mic check. You will you can go through and read all this. I don't wanna spend time doing that. I wanna just jump in to go to the studio. So let's jump in. So when we jump in with the studio, you're obviously going to jump into a new project. You do not have to have premium access. Uh, some states, some districts have paid for this. I live in the state of Utah and we have a statewide license, which is super awesome to all the Adobe products. I recognize that that is a privilege that I have. And so when you jump in, this is it, right? So if you're a student or a teacher, you're in three clicks starting a podcast. Now, there's more stuff that you can do and I'll kind of go through that, but looking at it right from the beginning, I am going to start recording my podcast. So when we click on the record button right here. I'm going to start recording my podcast. It's going to ask if it will use my mic. I'm gonna allow while visiting the site. And as I'm talking, you can see that the wavelengths are going, it's picking up text, and it might be a little clunky because I'm recording a video and a podcast at the same time. So you might get an echo, hopefully not. I've tested it out and it did work. So when I wanna finish the recording, I just click stop recording. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna take a couple seconds, it's gonna transcribe the file into text, it's also gonna process the audio files, and it's going to put all of them in this page right in front of you that you can see on your screen so that you can then edit that individual um, content or that recording. So you'll see here, this is my text. And if I go ahead and play that back right down here, visiting the site, and, and as, as I'm, I'm talking, talking, you can see that the wavelengths are going, it's picking up text, and, and it might be a little clunky because I'm recording a video and a podcast at the same time. So you might get an echo, hopefully not. I've tested it out and it did work. So when I wanna finish the recording, I just click stop. So you'll notice right here, let's say I wanna take something out. So when I just delete this and delete this and delete this and delete this, we'll highlight that, you can see that the podcast is actually deleting that audio. So now I'm a second shorter than I was before. And hopefully you can hear this skip over and you can, and you that's what I just pulled out. So let's play this back. You, you can, can see, see that the, the wavelengths, wavelengths are deleting the site. You, you can, can see, see that the wavelengths are going, it's picking up text. And, and it might be a little clunky because I'm recording a video and a so essentially what Adobe has allowed you to do or created for you is instead of editing and cutting the audio file, the WAV file or whatever file you're working with, you are now just editing the text. So thinking about your ease of entry for students, if a student is old enough to read, they're old enough to edit their own podcast. Again, if a student is old enough to read, they're old enough to edit their own podcast podcast. Now, let's go into a little bit further what you can do with this now that we have this 17 second podcast here. I'm going to jump around and kind of show you where everything is at. We're literally three minutes in and we already have the beginnings of a podcast. So I have my account here. I can invite guests and invite guests. I can share the link or I can email them. When we get the shareable link, it's going to be a podcast.adobe slash blah, 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 blah. I grab that link, I emailed it to them. On the back end, it's going to look something like this. If I open a new window, you'll see the full length of the podcast and they will be in the podcast as well, right? So they'll have different screens, they'll be recording different voices. So you can have two students, a teacher, a student, a parent, you know, whoever you want in different rooms or different places working on this podcast together. Obviously, if I want to download the podcast, I would download this. If I want to share it, I can create a template. I can share it with somebody else. And again, this is still almost right beta, beta mode. It's open to everybody, but they're still working on some things. Here, I can title this, and I'm just going to title this test podcast for students. 
you see I have an undo button and a the opposite of undo, which is to go back forward. I can upload other audio files. So if I wanted to upload an introduction, maybe it was another interview that somebody sent me. If I wanted to collect these recordings and put it into a classroom podcast per se, I could grab that file. And as you know, if you've used Adobe before, they have access to millions of images, photos, uh, music files, different things like that in their copyright. So if I wanted to add some music, I would click on music and let's just go with lemon bass and we're going to add this to the beginning. And actually I added it right in the middle. That's not what I wanted to do. So we're going to music and we're going to drag and drop. Whoops. That's my cursor's not at the beginning. So there we go. Now we're going to add some music lemon bars. We'll add that. And now what we're going to do is you'll notice that it changed the time of my podcast. So now it's, you know, 25 seconds. Let's just start at the beginning. We're going to get some music. Okay. So with that, you also have some options to fade in, fade out. You can transcribe this. If there are words, you can split this. So you can get a lot more detailed and you'll recognize that when the kids jump in and start doing their own kind of podcast, they'll start to figure stuff out. Kids are great at figuring out new technology. Now let's say you want to put in a placeholder. So a placeholder is if I am waiting for another audio file to come over, other text file to come over, I can add this right here, right? And I can just drag and drop it right in the middle of this. So if I come after I push a placeholder, I can add something else here and I can add a description of this is going to be another part of the podcast like that. And then down here in filters, we can enhance the speech. We can pull that down a little bit. So just walking through the filters, what that looks like for you. So again, we've got the filter. We ramp that up. We're going to jump right in here. Visiting the site. You, you can, can see that the, the wavelengths, wavelengths are going, it's picking up text. And it might be a little clunky because I'm recording a video and a podcast at the same time. time. So, so you, you might, might get, get an echo, echo. hopefully, hopefully not. not. I've, I've tested, tested it out and it did work. So, so as you're going through that, you can see the strength of the podcast. Now, if you're talking about a podcast that you're looking to make money and do all of that thing, this is probably not the thing that you would want to do. This is a simple podcast tool that allows for the ease of entry to jump in and just go again. Some of my favorite parts for a classroom setting, a school setting are that you don't have to mess around with the audio files. You are editing the text. This is something that kids can record at home. It's something that they could share with other students. You could put students in teams together to use this podcasting tool separately on their own, or they could interview each other with guests. There's a lot of different ideas that you could use a classroom podcast or even just a small assignment podcast for students but it still allows them to be a little bit creative with their audio recording files. If you're here, it's most likely because you're an educator. I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here.